Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another BT Neanderthal video. Today we're going to be doing a how-to guide on how to install BT Diablo or also known as BTD. So let's get into it. What we got to do is we got to go to github.com slash BT Neanderthal slash BT Diablo. You can go and find the link in description down below. So and then we go over here and we just download as zip. Now once we download that we go over to our downloads file and we extract it wherever we want. Let's just make a new folder. New folder. Let's extract this. Desktop, it should say new folder that we just made. Let's select it and we extract. Now. Now that this is extracted, we don't need this anymore. We don't need our downloads folder folder anymore. What we need to find is, let's look in here first. We have a couple things here. We have these things. These don't matter as of right now. Unless you're doing testing for me, you don't need this. These are the two things that you want to have right now. So we're going to go into our Diablo 2 resurrected folder. I have a shortcut here, but it'll just be under uh, your you know, main hard drive, your programs, uh, files. I'll just show you real quick. So you go to like this PC, you go to your main drive, you go to program files, x86, you go to Diablo 2 resurrected, and we make a folder called mods. I've already made it. You make the mod mods folder, make a folder, I guess in here, and then name it BT Diablo, right? So we name that BT Diablo. Now, we go over here and we take we take btdiablo.mpq and we just paste the contents in here. So that's all you that's what you do here. Obviously, I have it here already, so I'm not going to do that. But you just Control C, Control V, or just drag it over. So now that all of that is made, we go over to our launcher and we go to game settings. Now this is what your additional command line needs to read out. So you go over here, you hit the settings, you, if this isn't checked, you hit additional command line arguments and you do dash text dash mod space BT Diablo. You don't need the enable respec. This is just a way to infinitely respec if that's something you want, but I did add respecs at Akara in the game. So that's all you need. You hit done with that and you're good here. Okay. Now that we've done all of this, now we can load up the game. Now, when you first load up the game, it's going to be like you just started the game fresh. Uh, it's like you just installed the game for the first time. We can fix that in a minute, but just go through all this stuff. There's like a cutscene and all that stuff. Um, but we just want to make sure we can build a character because it's right now we're creating a new save path inside our uh, folders. So now you're just going to make a character. Any name will do can hit your face against the keyboard or whatever you want for a character name but then after that uh what should happen is you should look in your inventory and if this is the way it looks basically nothing here at all then you did it right so now we're going to save an exit and what that does is it makes that save folder where we're going to paste all that new stuff in so we're going to move this away we're going to open up that new save folder uh or that new folder that we downloaded from uh, GitHub. And now we go over to uh, BT Diablo. Now I have a shortcut for this already and I'll show you where it is. So what we do is we go to this PC. We go, uh, what I usually do is I actually go back up to desktop and then we go my name. So whatever name you have, mine is Tim S. And then we have saved games and we have Diablo 2 resurrected it'll show whatever settings or um you know characters or single player files that you have and then it'll also show this mods folder this folder is what was just created what i highly recommend doing is just copying these two things over the custom key and settings these are the settings that allow uh the regular diablo 2 settings that you've worked hard on to be in the mod so we can just Paste this in, paste it into BT Diablo, and it'll overwrite the previous settings, which is, you know, those are your settings from Diablo 2 Resurrected, and now it's in the mod. 
the other thing that we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to go back to this folder and see how it says paste contents in save folder. We need to go into there and we just need to move all this stuff over. So we just copy this over and we paste it right in here. I mean, yes, we want to replace this. What this does is it enables the shared stash, the additional shared stash pages. Let's just go check it out and prove it. See if it works. So my settings, I have windowed. As you can see at the very top of the screen, there's like a white bar. That means that yes, we are running windowed mode. It is reading the files. And to make sure everything is correct, all we do for the final checks, um, is we go here and we look at advanced stats and if it says one minus 199 here and negative 30 and then these two charms it means you are currently it is currently working i'm also thinking about maybe coming out with a medium version if uh like where basically it's minus 100 and instead of minus almost 200 there's actually a very specific reason to this minus 199 but i'm not going to get into that you can ask me on my stream, which is on twitch.tv slash btneanderthal. There's a link in the description for that. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I hope you enjoy the mod. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, right now, as of this video, we're just in the beta phase. So let me know what you think. Much love. You're all beasts.